Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's live demo with Wild West T-Shirt Company. My name is Ashley and I'm the conference manager for the Marketplace. I just wanted to share a few housekeeping tips before we get started. Everyone is muted by default except for the speaker. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question or chat box and I'll bring them up during the presentation. We will also have time for questions at the end. This live demo will also be recorded, so you can go back and watch it again. The recording will be available on the Marketplace tomorrow. Now, without further ado, we will turn this over to Teresa with Wild West T-Shirt Company. Hi, everybody. I started to say good morning, but some of you are having the afternoon and summer morning. But welcome, and thanks for joining us. Uh, we appreciate your time. And with that in mind, I'm gonna jump right in so that I don't waste any of your time. Um, I am um, with Wild West, I'm out on the West Coast, but um, I work throughout the country. And um, so I'll talk about a lot of different regions, no matter where you're at, you'll see that our art works across a lot of um, different uh, regions and geographies. I'm gonna start sharing my screen um, so that you see a few things on screen while I'm talking and then we'll, and we'll get started. So bear with me one moment while we make that switch. All right, so what you're gonna to see today is a virtual booth tour of Gatlinburg. Um, for most of you that are joining us, you're probably going to be new accounts. And so I'm going to assume that you know um, very little about us or just a little, um, and I'll try to fill in some blanks. We are a company that is over 50 years old, started in Bozeman, Montana. We still have art and sales in Montana, but we also have all of our production administrative um, offices and um, a, uh, executive uh, team in New York. So we are literally all over the country as I'm in the Pacific Northwest. And so we cover, um, no matter where you're at, we cover your needs. So today we'd love for you to hang with us to the end. And if you can, um, based on what's going on in your schedule for first time customers, you will receive a special discount code, 15% um, off for the next two days and 10% um, off if it's the subsequent three days. So basically through next um, one week from now, you essentially have codes that will give you a pretty significant discount on your first orders with us. If you're watching this later as a recording or even now live um, as an existing customer, we have other opportunities for you. So don't feel left out. There are other things for you as well. So hang with me till the end and you'll get that code. So I'm gonna get jumping right in. This was our booth in uh, Gatlinburg. And what I'm gonna do is play a series of videos and talk through those. And it's the easiest way to walk you around a tremendous amount of product in a pretty short amount of time. So this is our booth moving from right to left. And I've got to remember all my controls here. I'm gonna go right back, sorry about that. Um, we offer a tremendous amount of product from t-shirts to sweatshirts and you'll see different apparel and different graphics throughout the booth. You're gonna see moving left to right here, scenics, um, animals, fishing, um, I'm moving, it, I'm talking a little fast and it's moving, coastal, um, ladies and kids is around the corner. There's obviously a lot more product. We have over 500 designs in our book. You'll see probably about 90 of those today and um, fairly close up. Starting with our vintage Wild West, this um, I mentioned we've been around for over 50 years. Um, several of these designs date back to that time period, 30, 40 years, some are 10 or 15 or 20, um, but we love this little concept this year. And what you're gonna see throughout the presentation on the left is a, a picture that's gonna stay still and on the right, a video. So this will get you up a little closer, um, up close and personal, if you will, to the designs. And I'm just gonna stop it now and then. And right here, I'm gonna circle this one. This is a great example of how a lot of our designs are created. Anything in white in this graphic can actually change. So the mountains could become a particular mountain range or a particular peak. Um, it could be a series of trees, it could be a tent, it could be an RV, it could be a quad. Um, you name it, depending on your region, your location, whether or not your ski or your coastal water, um, there are a lot of options for most of our graphics. Some are not as changeable as others, but many are very adoptable based on your region. 
Um, some of these, this whole group, they work really well together, which is how we, we loved merchandising these as a product group. Um, I'm going to flip back again. That's going to happen to me a few times in the beginning. It did when I was testing it as well. I'm going to zoom back up to this bear right up here. Um, this is actually one of our oldest designs you'll see in the book. Um, it was created in one of the first years of existence. Um, it did really well in Gatlinburg, um, probably one of the top sellers from the vintage group. Um, this little guy up here, that can all change, that icon, um, bison burst. It's an athletic look. A little ode to 70s ringers. And this last design, the big icon, this is another great example of the buffalo could change to a bear. It could change to a tree range, a mountain range, um, any animal. So this is another good example of some uh, very easily changeable graphics um, that you would be easy for you to imagine without seeing mocked up. You do, of course, see every graphic mocked up when you do order it for approval. And this year we introduced a lot of new merchandising solutions, stickers, magnets, tin signs, license plates, both auto and bicycle size. This um, image on screen gives you a little quick visual of how a design could be adapted from apparel to any one of those products I just listed, including masks, um, obviously a, a part of our current um, life reality. So great merchandising solutions that allow you to draw a higher ticket value um, at the register and really give great, strong, um, impacting merchandising solutions. This is a banner that we had hanging at the booth. You might have seen it in that very first um, video. This just gives you a quick overview of how a lot of our designs can be turned into tin signs. We did introduce tin signs late in the season last year, and um, they were exceptionally well received and just great for that quick um, gift when you're leaving the store. You know, they don't take up much room in the suitcase. Um, they don't necessarily have to have a size. Um, and so, you know, they look great behind the bar in the she shed, he shed, um, or wherever. Uh, this is a little quick pick of our um, stickers. You'll see some of our designs a little closer up here and how those can be adapted to sticker formats. The stickers this season, um, again, have already been well received. Minimums are low and a lot of options for you to get started with some of those products. Moving on to the booth and onto apparel. Um, these are columns that we had at the end of the booth. There's no video here, but this item right here is our Snow Heather French Terry. And we introduced this last season and it was really well received. I think it's great for the way that we dress these days with multiple layers and graphics look great on them. Whether it's a big, strong, bold graphic like that far top left, or whether or not it's a little more subtle like that sailboat with the stencil lettering over the top. Um, it, everything really shows up well on the, the French Terry items and prints beautifully, just kind of melts into it. We have, if you knew anything about Wild West in the past, we were pretty known for our classic um, apparel. And we didn't have a lot of, we had classic um, basics and medium um, price point levels. Now we have some premium products. Um, and this first item you're gonna see here is from Alternative Apparel. It's a vintage soft hoodie, um, t-shirt weight. And we have a long sleeve tee in this and a short sleeve tee. We love this and it, it prints beautifully as well. Watch a quick video here that'll zoom in a little bit closer. This bottom design is called Road Crew, uh, introduced last season, did really well as a, a good classic text embroidery. Hike for Life is a new graphic this season um, with text lettering at the bottom. The VW bus right up there at the top, you know, depending on your location, I did it again. Zoom back up to him. You know, depending on your location, your license plate could be customized um, for wherever someone's traveling. This design right here with the waves, uh, we created a mountain version of this last year and, and added this wave version, great for coastals. This is a really um, popular design. And it's a great example of how you can pull out that icon, doesn't even need to be there, or you can add an icon. 
and right above that, a great text graphic. And whether or not you're seeing mountain or water type graphics, keep in mind that almost all of them are changeable. And I'll show you what I mean by that on this next, well, two slides away. Um, this slide shows you our soft um, hoodie. Uh, we've added quite a few colors um, this season. This has been a really um, great product for us. It has a contrast um, hood liner, uh, contrast cord. So you can do a lot of nice merchandising with that, a lot of added value at retail. And you also have a cell phone pocket here. Um, really nice simple graphics on some of these that we're showing you. This one right here is called um, uh, Rusted Metal, it has a really cool metal look. It's a great example of something that can be switched from, this is like fishing Adirondacks, but this could be hiking the Rockies, um, Colorado. So a lot of ways that you can change some of these basic text. I hope I don't do that 27 more times, guys, sorry about that. But I can fast forward, so there we go. That um, sweatshirt right here is a little mini gray and white stripe. And the top um, sweatshirt, which is a little blown out by that light, is a Heather Navy. Um, this is a good example too, being able to change out that icon to whatever works for your region. This screen is going to show you some of what I'm talking about as far as being able to change products or change, um, take a design and make it work for multiple regions. So if we will zoom in on some of these and I'll talk through this. So Wild West is quite well known for our scenics, um, full color graphic. Um, and this is really uh, where we made our mark. And You'll see here these five designs that are shown on this front column did really well in addition to one that I'm going to show you right after um, at Gallenberg. This first one is called Thin Slice. Great new um, shape, um, a little bit narrower, longer. Um, there's a back and a left chest, or it could be done on a quarter zip or a full zip as a stripe down the side. So that's Thin Slice. This next one is Wide Angle. Reflection Bell. And this is the first of a couple of examples I'll show you over here on the right, where you have what we often refer as West and East versions. So this being the West version and over here being the East. So having low hills versus high peakies, um, mountains, high peak mountains. So Reflection Bell. And this next one, this is probably, um, we're gonna venture to guess at this point could be one of our top sellers this season. This is called Painted Poster. Um, you see a peaked version here. Over here on the right, you see an Eastern Hill version. And a little bit later, you're going to see a coastal version of this. It just really adapts well, whether or not it's a custom um, view or whether or not it's a generic mountain, generic hill version. And the last one on this is uh, Tour de Peaks, uh, which is kind of an emblem or crest shape. And you'll see over here on the right an East Coast version of that design as well. What I think is really strong on this group of scenics is that you've got a lot of shapes. And I know sometimes we find this challenging, um, all of us do in this market, that we get, you know, everything's a circle when you're, um, so you're going to see a lot of varieties and shapes giving you a lot of variety at, um, for your customer to have a choice. This is called Wheel of Fortune, also um, a top received um, scenic at Gatlinburg, West Coast, Peaky Mountain version here and uh, Lower Hill version here on the left. Um, I'll zoom in on this one just a little bit. Um, I think this would also make a fantastic coastal version. Um, I mentioned I'm in the Pacific Northwest and coastal and trees. Um, we have several designs that already are in process to create the coastal version of some of these. And I think this is gonna be one of those for sure. Really nice shading around the oval um, and looks fantastic on the garments. I mentioned this design up at the top. Well, I guess we're gonna start at the bottom. Um, this is a great design for if you have rivers, trails, peaks, um, ski um, runs, different names that you can put in here. Um, and we have a peaked and non-peaked version of this. Um, this could even be animals. Um, I know that uh, we talk or we work a lot with zoos. There's some things that could be done there in that kind of environment. 
This next style, I want to point this out when you're reviewing our catalog. If you see a small feather below any picture, that means it's a very soft print or a digital print. And this guy right here is a digital. This could be changed out to anything for 72 pieces. Um, by the way, our typical minimums, um, anything in the catalog is 48 pieces. Um, custom work, depending on the amount of colors or the type of print, is either 72 or 144. So this would be a great example of being able to do your own custom image for just 72 pieces. And our minimums are spread across apparel, not um, the design. So 72 pieces of a design, but you could put it on a sweatshirt or sweatshirt and t-shirt, short and long sleeves. So you can get your 72 pieces across a multitude of products. I showed you the wave version of this on just a previous slide. And this is the mountain version did very well last year, it was brand new um, last season. Some great text and location designs. Um, I wanna show you on this one right here, that's a one color. We can also change any of our one colors to any color and keep that 48 piece minimum. So for example, if you wanted to turn this into maybe a girl's pink and purple collection, um, you could turn this from this kind of Melanie orange color into a pink. Um, so we have a really broad palette you can choose from and really create your own custom merchandising solutions that really suit your store, your flavor. Did it again. Um, the Arrowhead did very well at um, Gatlinburg and apologies everyone. I have to just not touch that mouse too hard. This guy here with the peaks, um, the elk, this is a good example of the icon can change but it can also come out. So sometimes when you use, if we have too much text you can actually pull things or icons off of the graphic. It's the bison um, buffalo nickel and a, a simple one color that again could be customized. Um, think about those sweatshirts with a contrast hood, contrast cord, that this could um, print, could match those to create your own custom solution. One thing we're really well known for as well as scenics in the past has been animals and we we're very close to Yellowstone National Park. Um, so very influenced by that region, but I would like to show you um, coming up in these next couple of slides. So even if you're not in a sort of what I would call a big animal region or a big animal um, big game these animals can turn into lots of other animals. So if you're from um, with zoos or uh, refuge type areas, um, interpretive centers, uh, there are a lot of ways these animals can be changed to really work for your environment. I'm gonna zoom in on a few of these. Um, this is called the big bull tag, has a really beautiful texture in the background that's a little bit hard to see with that light. There it is. Um, this is a great example of a design that the elk can come completely out of this. Um, and in our fishing section, we replace that with a fish. Um, this could be a crane. This could be, um, you know, geese flying over. So there's a lot of things that this design could really work for, uh, multiple regions or the animal come out completely. And Zoom back into move this a little quickly. There we go. To stipple bear. And I did it three times in a row. So I apologize. We're gonna move to that bear again, and I'm not gonna go past him this time. So this stipple sky bear was brand new for us last season, did really well. And we've done this in a multitude of animals. Um, and I think it's a great example of how this could be um, anything from a giraffe to a moose, to an elk, um, to obviously a bear. And right above it, similar concept, beautiful animal graphic, um, beautiful grizzly. This did really well in Gatlinburg. This could also turn into any custom animal. And similarly for this, um, this is called a big poster. That is a digital print. So for 72 pieces, you could have your own custom image. This could be any animal or this could be a landscape, a lodge. Um, 
you know, anything that's significant to your area that your um, visitors are looking for. Um, our traveler, um, an, an oval shape with icons. I think this is another one I really want to stop on for just a second. So this is geometric bear, um, a little more modern version of an animal. That's super blurry. Um, but this guy could turn into any animal shape uh, or any animal using this geometric concept. And we are quite well known for our elk. So you will see a pretty heavy elk section in the book too. This is called Vintage Scroll. So really strong animals and I'll point some, oh, actually good. Um, that slide's come up just where I wanted it. Um, so I mentioned zoos and aquariums. Um, a lot of our art can quite easily change. And I wanna show you this example right up here um, on the left. Um, in my presentation, it will show the arrow, but I'll just point it out. So that very top left-hand corner is um, a bear. Um, that was part of our mountain sort of animal designs. And you see directly below it details panda. Um, it's a great example of how a format can turn into um, a completely different animal or look based on your region and your needs. Um, so we've done this for Zoo Atlanta and um, we've done one for a fishing location that's a salmon. So everything from a salmon to a grizzly bear to a black bear to a panda bear. So um, it's a really great way to show how a format can adapt. If you love a format that we can turn that into what I will call um, a zoo version, even though you may not see that dir directly in the book. Um, right kind of in the middle of your screen, it's dark green. There's a red elephant. It says bubble frame. That's another really good example. That might be pretty small on your screen. But that's in our kids section um, where we show it with a grizzly bear, um, a moose, a fox, but that could easily be changed to zoo animals, um, as you see here. And um, again, it's been really well received. Um, we work with several refuge or several safari parks, and I'm able to turn a tremendous amount of the art um, into safari park kind of designs really easily. And I think the wildlife tour is a great example of um, that started out as a Jeep. Um, you know, a Volkswagen with the giraffe's head popping out, you, an ostrich, there's all kinds of fun things we could do with that. So um, the tie-dye gorilla in the bottom right also started um, as a grizzly bear um, and a black bear and a buffalo. Um, obviously can be turned into any animal um, depending on your, your needs. Uh, we have quite a large fishing section and um, that's pretty challenging because there's a lot of fish in the country depending on part, what part of the country you're from. So everything from flies like this example um, to this bright fly here on the right. This is a digital print, this bright fish. This is a good example of a one color that can be changed to anything. So you need a specific fish with a very specific landscape format in front inside um, that can easily be done with a one color graphic and you'd still be at your 48 piece minimums. A rod and reel fishing, crossed reels, a really beautiful sort of wood panel uh, graphic with a salmon. Oh, we're done. Okay. Um, so moving on to the next, just to the right in our booth, we had um, a few more fishing designs. And this first one, um, we'll actually look at it here on the picture. Um, that fish could change out um, and the background could change out for 72 pieces. And we did several of these with different fish um, based on the location. Um, this actually shows you those um, fish, um, the picture here on the right. Um, we saw the trout or the salmon fishing down there at the bottom. Um, and unfortunately, it won't let me have an arrow to show, point out to you. But then right above it is the red drum from Ocracoke. And then probably one of our best selling fishing um, designs is that top one that says a largemouth pro angler. Um, beautiful big back design with a left chest. And then a lot of text graphics you'll, you'll see in our catalog um, that are labeled harbors and ports um, or rivers and oceans. Um, they show text concepts that you could easily adapt based on your locations. But as I mentioned, whether or not it's water or mountain, change some text 
um, and an icon and you can create um, your own personalized look. On the front, um, on the far right of our booth, we had a, a coastal um, section. We've always quite frankly been known um, for our mountains, but we actually have quite an extensive amount of water designs as well. Um, there are all types of coasts, as you guys know, and so everything from palm trees to no palm trees, like for me in the Pacific Northwest. And so we can adapt, again, a lot of these designs maybe already even have adaptations um, that would work for different regions. We'll play this video and kind of work up from the bottom. Um, more of a northeastern design, but actually we did um, a Great Lakes, um, this for the Great Lakes area at Gatlinburg um, with the oars. That's a big back. Then this next design with the palms. This is a two color, so easily changed for 72 pieces to um, other locations. And it has a shadow ink, which works really well on a lot of colors. I'll talk about that more in a second. This is a nice digital print. Again, only works on lighter colors. And a sort of an oak barrel look. And then I've talked about painted poster already. Um, let that go a little more to the top. Yeah, um, this is painted poster. We saw it in the beginning, um, a mountain peaked version, an east sort of low hills version, and here a coastal version with palms. Um, there are other versions already in the works. Um, so like I said, I think we feel like this is gonna be a top seller for us this season and can really see it adapting to a lot of areas. Looks great on brights where you see it here. Earlier in the presentation, we saw it on some more natural colors. For anybody that might have joined us late, I'm just going to say hang with us a little bit longer. Um, I will be sharing a code at the end of the presentation for a pretty significant discount that you can use for the next week. Um, on to kids, and I'm going to play a little video here on the right, and we'll zoom in on a few of these. This is Scribble Factory, a new design for us this season. Over here, just to the left of it, you can see it on multiple colors. And that has been really well received as well as this little, oops, did it again. Thought that I broke in my habit. There we go. Um, that little, um, it's called Fun Font, a nice little bleed that works well with contrasts. This is a good example um, I wanted to point out of highlight ink or shadow ink. In our catalog, another little icon that you'll see is a little light bulb and it sits under some designs and that little light bulb means that it has shadow ink. So it doesn't matter what garment color you choose as long as it's a light to medium shade, the ink will print about two shades darker than the garment. And so you see a really good example of this here on aqua and over here on the left on violet. Just above it, you see Little Moon Bear, and that's just pictured over here on the left on three different colors. So it looks great on that little retro heather pink. Here it is on retro heather coral and also works really well on the contrast sleeves um, with the purple. Oop. Sorry guys, you know technology, it's so awesome. Okay. We're going to stop it right there. This is a great example, and you will find several of these in our kids section of what I call interpretive animal designs. So they work great for interpretive locations, zoos, um, parks, state parks, national parks, um, the, sitting alongside those books of, you know, have you found me, can you find me, um, and all sorts of stats about the animals. So these are great products for that. Um, you will also see that on a lot of our kids' product, and this is a good example, that we do a lot of glow ink for kids. Anything you see on this design in white, that's a little bit of white pup ink, is that glow um, additive that makes the, the ink glow. So you will see in the catalog listed under a design in the kids section, it will say glow ink under the name if it has glow ink in it. And it also comes with a glow ink sticker. So people will know at retail they're purchasing a glow ink product. And I know that's super important in a lot of markets um, and really fun for kids. 
The only um, garment not on that video is this one on the far left, which is called uh, Wild Club um, Compass. And we do have an East Coast version of this. And again, all those white um, paw prints, footprints are in um, glow ink. A couple of other were our favorites that weren't um, up on display, but there's so many great kids designs. Oh, there's so many great designs. There's just no way to show you everything, but to just give you a taste. But um, top right hand here is called Lodge Collage. Um, the bottom right here is called Hide and Seek. Um, this is on two new colors, cool mint and violet. And the largest animal, the moose, is changeable. So it can be pulled out or changed to another animal. And the other animals are fairly generic for most regions. The bottom left, Go Wild, a one color print, you could change that completely. Every animal could change and the ink color could change to work um, based on your concept. But we think that looks great as a white stamp or it could be a dark stamp for light garments. And Surf of Glacier is just fun. Um, a great little design on that retro heather coral um, and the cool mint, both which I think will be top colors this season. We do have a pretty extensive um, infant and toddler section. And one of our new products this season is this one right here on, on the right. It was new last year. We brought in the tan and brown version um, for bears. And, but we're gonna demonstrate how this little guy works with the hood and the ears, adorable. And um, so we introduced all three of the colorways this um, little onesie comes in this season and baby bear was probably the most popular and that one right behind it which um, you can just see here when we hang it back up called hello bear um, those two did really well in Gatlinburg and two other really um, sweet designs for toddler and infants little dude and be wild both of which are pictured in the garment catalog on models Last but not least, our ladies, and um, I call these the camo must-haves. The top design we had, um, we introduced last year, um, the charcoal with the camo sleeves, and uh, we'll just zip through um, the video here to show these a little bit closer. This little camo tee, the natural body with the camo sleeves, showing you how other um, inks can work on that camo and then that charcoal, Heather charcoal body on with the camo sleeve. This did really well last year. And um, for ladies, I think no question at Gatlinburg, these were the um, uh, most well-received ladies products. You can see that ladies garment right there um, and how that can work with a lot of different graphics. And last but not least, we introduced um, this new item for ladies too, this um, soft tunic, a little tri-blend um, and for really beautiful colors, nice fit for ladies, um, very forgiving, a little open scoop. Um, and you'll see it here in a few uh, graphics. So that was a really quick tour. Um, thank you for hanging with us to the end. We really appreciate it. For those of you who are first time customers, if you want to use the code Love Wild West, um, you can contact me. I'm going to leave this um, up on screen as we wrap up. You can do a quick screenshot or note that. Um, you can contact me via email or phone. Or if you happen to know one of our other sales um, team members, they all know about the demo today and you can reach out to them directly. If you have any questions, I'll let you ask those here in just a minute, or we can do those offline. Um, but you can see the details there for 15% off on um, the next two days um, or today um, and 10% off if you place your order the 20th through the 23rd. So with that, um, I did a quick, um, are there any questions? I know it's a lot of information in a short amount of time, um, but your time is valuable. So we wanted to just give you the best broad overview that we could, um, knowing that we have a lot of options for you. And like I said, over 500 designs. So depending on your region, your needs, um, there is something really for everyone. And um, we love creating amazing art and we hope that you'll um, be excited to join the Wild West family. Um, Teresa, it looks like somebody asked, how do we get a catalog or link to the online catalog? 
Um, I can send both of those. If you want to email me directly to Teresa at wildwestshirts.com, I will be happy to send you a link and arrange for a hard cap copy to be sent to you. Both, um, And we have two catalogs. We have a design catalog and a garment catalog. So I can send both of those right away if you want to email me. You can also um, connect the digital link through the marketplace, but it is a little, um, you know, you have to go through a couple of steps. So I'm very happy to email it to you. Perfect. Thank you. Um, it doesn't look like we have any other questions at the time, but if anyone wants to chime in with a question, we can answer that really quick, or um, you can message Teresa in the marketplace or email or call her with her information on the screen. All right. Well, thank you guys. I know it's a challenging time for business, so we appreciate your time. Um, we hope that we can be part of your um, product solutions, and we hope you have very happy holiday season. Thank you.